So water can exist in fuel in, in essentially three states. Uh, dissolved, so the water is fully dissolved in the, in the fuel. The water can have broken free from the fuel and becomes free water. And a variation of that is where the free water exists in small tiny droplets, which we call entrained. At some stage, these droplets might all form to form um, a, a large gathering of free water. So all aviation fuels dissolve water in varying amounts, depending upon fuel composition and temperature. Dissolved water in fuel is similar to humidity in air. You know, it, it exists. If we lower the fuel temperature, so as the fuel gets cooler, this will cause the dissolved water to come out of solution as free water, somewhat like fog comes out of air. The creation of free water occurs at, at very, very slow rates, but nonetheless it, it occurs. Uh, dissolved water is not a, a problem for aircraft operations as long as it remains in solution. The dissolved water cannot be removed by filtration, but can become free uh, water with temperature change. Once free, it can cause problems. So if we free water and it's cool, then it will ice up, and that can cause problems for uh, fuel flow. It can maybe clog up filters, um, block up jets, nozzles, or, and, and so on. An example would have been uh, British Airways Flight 38 and the Air Accident Investigation Branch report uh, had a probable cause of accreted ice from within the fuel system released, causing a restriction to the engine fuel flow at the face of the fuel oil heat exchanger on both engines. So there's a restriction of fuel to the engines. Uh, the engines then uh, shut down, the aircraft had to glide, and uh, just was very unlucky that it just didn't make the uh, the runway. And this is despite the operator having a very good maintenance regime and ha had the highest practicable frequency of fuel sam sampling for the for the Boeing seven seven seven. So uh, it just shows what what can happen. So the the entrained water is. Uh, suspended in tiny droplets in the fuel. Individual droplets may or may not be visible to the naked eye, but they can give the fuel a cloudy or hazy appearance depending on their, their size and quantity. Generally when you agitate you know, free water and fuel, you can get uh, entrained water. So this is an example of um, some fuel and here we have some water visible at the bottom of the uh, the tank here so this is this will cause operational problems so what we need to do is to sample uh, the fuel uh, regularly and to test for water so we'll look at fuel sampling in another video